Sir. Stay here with me today in this webinar is Mr. Tang, our CEO, and Mr. Tai, our technical leader for JSN Mobilize. And we hope that with this webinar, we will bring you clear and believable information about JSN Mobilize. And you will also receive answers for any concern related to the product. So now I will come through the agenda of today. First, we will talk about problems, how we need, why we need the JSM Mobilize. And then I will talk about how JSM Mobilize works. Final part will be the live Q&A from Mr. Tang and Mr. Tai. So now we will come to the first part. Mobilize, mo, why we have mobilized? For, because mobile devices are no longer strange to us. They involve in our daily routine and affect our habits. That also affects our business too. So business need more mobile sites to increase traffic and enhance business revenue. But we meet many obstacles while making mobile size, but the most special are, first, it's very time consuming. We have plenty of responsive templates, but size with large volume of data take much time and effort to create a mobile site. Second, that it is not simple to create a mobile site. We have to depend totally on a third party or a designer. Finally, it is very costly. We have to pay much money for importing data, designing, and so on. So based on our market research and customer feedback, we built JS and Mobilize for Joomla users to do with the mentioned obstacles. So with JSN Mobilize, we hope that we will have your Joomla site more mobile ready. So now we will come to the another important part that how JSN Mobilize works. So JSN Mobilize simply that push the existing content of your site to a mobile version so that when your content display on mobile it will look friendly and it will look sweet on a mobile device. Second, that it will also compress own files into one packages and also optimize images so that the loading speed can be enhanced. So now I will come through the feature of JS and Mobilize. First, it is very user friendly. It does not require technical coding. It also have drag and drop function, so you can change the position. And it has painless customization with six default styles and more than 30 parameters so you can choose. JSN Mobilize also support multiple operating system and device. You can, it, it was designed for smartphone and tablet. And the JSN Mobilize also support popular operating system, uh, iOS, Android, Windows Mobile, Blackberry, and other. Another outstanding, another outstanding feature of um, JSN Mobilize is preview. You don't need any additional device, and 
and you can view how changes you make appear instantly so that user can preview all the change in real time. So now it is a show time. I will show you a demo of JS and Mobilize, how we will make um, your content to look more mobile ready. Please wait for a second. Okay, so now you have seen my have seen my screen already. Here you can see the control panel of Joomla, Joomla version 3.2.3. Like many other extensions, that the JSM Mobilize can be easily installed in the extension top here. You can easily install extension after download JSM Mobilize and it will appear in components. I've already installed the JSM Mobilize, and here it appears in my components. In JSM Mobilize, I see you can you will see profiles, configuration, and about. So, so now you will see the interface of JS and Mobilize. It is very user friendly because it looks like you are publishing an article in Joomla, not about creating a mobile site. So here you can see that you can cr click on new to create a new profile in which you will make changes, you will uh, edit, add elements, that you would like to appear on your mobile device. Next is um, edit. You can also edit the um, the profile you want. You can publish or unpublish the profile. Delete two. And um, and now I will create from the very first that um, click on new one. On general, you will see that we have details here. You can you can have the title here. And description, you can type in any description you want or leave it blank. The status can be set to publish or unpublish. We compress CSS, JS, and optimize images here. This loading speed of your mobile site will be decreased. So you can compress both CSS and JS, and you can also optimize images for the best performance or for the best image quality. On your right side, you will see also um, many options. Um, for oper operating system support, um, you can you can support iOS six, seven, and Windows and BlackBerry as I have mentioned in the slide. So here you can untick the operating system that you don't want. So after untick, you will move to the design top. Here you will see that we have smartphone and tablet Laowai for you. And on the right corner, it is a low style here. It will load the predefined style so it will appear on the layout. So I will choose here is iOS 7, for example. Sorry, my local host. Okay, so I think that just stick with the. Um, 
um, the default. Uh, so here you can choose the um, select menu first. You can select your menu here, like main menu, top menu, footer menu, mostly stuff, anything you want here. So I will take the main menu for an example here. Here you can choose the search setting. So I will choose search, for example, and also login setting. You can also change the color and the style of this bar too by clicking here, edit style. So you can choose solid or dot dash for your border. So I will choose solid here. And the background type can be solid color or gradient color. By changing color. Okay. And the icon color can be white or black. can add a logo of your you want here and also change the color like I have done And here in the add element, you can choose individual modules or module position. So if I take individual module, for example, I will choose like latest new, for example. And next to latest new, I will choose um, article categories for example and with the uh, drag and drop function you can ch choose you can change the position of this model easily it can be set here placed there and after all the change you made you can preview instantly by just clicking to enable preview so you can see here that this is a chain that I have made for the mobile site and now I will come to the tablet this you can see that with um, mobile uh, smartphone one that it will have only one column but in the tablet you will have two columns to add element and change the position that you want. So I can put my latest new here and I will now I will choose the modern position, uh, not the individual modern. So here with the modern position, you can choose what you want to display. Like I want to choose promo, for example. And you can also change the color of this um, area too. Like you want to have border like dotted and the color should be blue. And your background type is solid color white. And in each module here, you can edit the style for your module. Like what I have just done. And after all the change I have made.
and you you can um, after all the chain you have met you can um, enable preview to see that the chain you have made look great or not. So now you can see uh, that all the chain I have made so far. So, so that is a demo or So with um, the loading style here, you can choose um, the predefined style in our extension. So your your style here will look like Android or iOS 6, iOS 7, Windows Mobile. So I will choose Windows Mobile for example. So now if it look like um, on a tablet with Windows Mobile or OS. And when you enable preview, you can see that it will change to And you can also um, choose the style for the uh, module here. Like it uh, color, I want it black. Yes, and it will change into the black color. Here too, with motion here is blue, so I want it to be yellow. And it will look yellow. And you can enable preview in time to see what change you have missed so far. That with the Windows Mobile, it will also look great in uh, iOS 7. Change the color and container and module too. Um, I want it to look a little purple. And it will change into a purple color. You can also choose the solid color or gradient color for your modern. And your border too. Shadow and the round corner radius. The spacing. So you can enable preview to see that the change you have made looks suitable or not. The same process can also be duplicated to the smartphone one. You can see that when I change into the tablet or smartphone, the, the size of the screen will automatically resize as the chain you have made, um, so the chain you have made on tablet will also appear the same on smartphone. Please note that um, I am using the Pro Unlimited version 1.0.2. So that I can add many elements that I want. But um, if you use the free or pro standard version, so so I think that the um, all of the function and feature that I want to show you about JSN Mobilize today. So after you have had made change and style for that on the profile you want, you will save and close. So that it will show here in um, in the in the JSM mobilized interface. And after you you feel satisfied with this profile, you can click 
onto its base the chain is so public that it will appear on on the live side. So I think that um, now now we went back to uh, our presentation today. So I promise, um, twenty percent of coupon for own products along with our webinar materials we will send to your personal email follow us on our facebook and twitter channel and we have free edition available now and you can just download and log in our site and download it and install to your joomla and try it now so now we come to the live q a uh, from Mr. Tai and uh, Mr. Tang. Uh, hello, everyone. I've been uh, following the conversations from the beginning, and uh, I have already have uh, several questions here. And yeah, I can see how Sam is disappointed. Well, uh, let me share my point of view on this. Um, uh, you know the um, uh, uh, the display area on mobile devices are are quite small, and uh, I personally think that uh, uh, there are not much space for for styling. So, uh, uh, content uh, that are being displayed on mobile devices should be focused on the content itself, and that's why we have uh, created. Uh, uh, the own styling system uh, that will um, uh, uh, that is simple that is simple but uh, uh, and 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 let uh, users focus on purely on 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 the content itself. Okay, and uh, here is uh, questions from Alexandros. Uh, I would like to see an OS iOS template look and feel like an iOS application. Well, yes, we have uh, the uh, similar thought on this. Um, but uh, yes, uh, the quick question is yes, uh, the look and feel uh, to be like iOS applications is uh, you will not get but uh, uh, this is the website we are talking about and um, we we think that it's uh, it's better if, if the website will still look like a website but it's uh, responsive it's compact and it's fast loading uh, if you try to make the website looks like uh, an uh, application um, uh, there will be some JavaScript uh, need to be added, which will make the web page uh, more heavy, uh, which is uh, not our intention. Uh, we think that the content are being displayed on mobile devices should be compact uh, and light, and we don't have any uh, unnecessarily JavaScript. That's our point. Any more questions, guys? Okay, uh, the questions from Sam. Okay, uh, the questions from Sam is very interesting. Uh, uh, yes, uh, right now, uh, JSN mo mo Mobilize uh, cannot inherit any settings from, from uh, JSN templates. But that's an excellent idea, and I think um, it can at least inherit some of parameters uh, from uh, JSN uh, templates. Uh, but um, my thought is that uh, even the logo itself, uh, f uh, 
uh, for the uh, desktop version of the website and the mobile version of the website are different. Uh, no, uh, normally, uh, logos are smaller on mobile, and uh, we want it to be uh, smaller not only in size but only in uh, in weight. Uh, I mean, in uh, kilobytes. For example, the logo for the desktop version uh, could be kind of hundred kilobytes, but for the mobile, we want it to be uh, like twenty or thirty kilobytes. So the best practice here uh, could be. Uh, uh, preparing a special version of the logo for the mobile and select them uh, with the JSN mo mobilize. Okay, and the next question from Chris. Okay, um, well, uh, templates that are set to use a responsive layout. Um, they uh, will uh, uh, they will be overridden by Mobilize because Mobilize is doing checking for the user agent. It will check for the user agent uh, of browser and uh, uh, in that way it will detect that this is the mobile browser and it will take over. Uh, so if you um, don't want that to be, then you can uncheck. Uh, let me show you. Uh, just hold on a second. Uh, I will show you. Okay. Um here. So if you want uh you can uh, you, you you have full control on when uh mobilized profile should be activated. For example, on modern devices which are running iOS 7, you can uh, let them display the responsive version of your template. But on weaker devices uh, such as uh, iOS 3GS, which is still running iOS 6, or uh, all Android devices, uh, you will activate this uh, JSON mobilized profile and uh, stream to them the simplified and uh, compressed content. Okay, let me uh, jump on the next uh, next question. Uh, uh, can JSON Mobilize be used with other JSON templates? Well, JSON Mobilize is an extension. It's an independent extension, and it can be used with any template. Okay, a question from uh, Sulaika. Uh, I'm not sure if I understand the question. Uh, can you please, uh, Sulaika, uh, rephrase your questions? Meanwhile, I will go, go ahead to the next question from Alexandros. In reverse, can JSON Mobilize be used with third-party templates? Yes, yes, I've just answered that question. Uh, JSON Mobilize is independent extensions. Uh, it has its own mobile template, which is uh, a regular Joomla template. And uh, JSON Mobilize uh, will check for the user agent of the browser, and uh, in that way it will understand that this is the mobile browser and it will automatically activate uh, its own uh, Joomla template, which is uh, simplified, and it will show out the content you have configured in the uh, profile. And um, uh, here I, I just want to again mention the point that uh, JSM Mo Mobilize uh, was born, uh, first of all, to make the, all the current Joomla websites that are not 
yet responsive uh, 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 to look sweet, to look good on mobile devices. Uh, with those websites which uh, already have responsive template, uh, JSM Mobilize can still be useful uh, to uh, for displaying content uh, for weak devices. Uh, there are still many devices uh, like iPhone 3GS which are still running on iOS 6.8 and uh, and they are not quite uh, ready yet for the uh, com uh, for the complicated websites. So that's where JSON Mobilize can come handy. And for those uh, old Android phones. Uh, which are running, uh, which still runs uh, on uh, Android uh, version 2.8. Uh, those devices are real weak, and uh, it will be better if your website have the compiled version streamed for them. Yes, uh, the point by Chris is uh, almost right. Uh, JSM Mobilize is the best. Uh, for non-responsive templates, for now there are still plenty of them on the website, and still Mobilize can be useful uh, to present content for weak devices. Yeah, well, I still remember uh, the concerns of Sam regarding this, and uh, uh, I've already made a note. I understand your your point uh, and your requirement, and uh, we will work on this. Uh, so um, uh, the solution uh, should come uh, from the template side. Uh, what you want is uh, is not the part of, uh, of, of, of JSN Mo mobilize. There will be some new feature uh, uh, from the template itself, which uh, will allow you to uh, uh, to reuse the uh, template style and by the same time um, to um, configure exactly what model or what model positions you want to display. So we will work on that. Uh, no problem. Thank you for sticking with us and uh, giving out uh, your very useful and uh, uh, often very brilliant comments. Uh, okay, guys. So um, this is our first uh, seminar. Uh, Organized by ourselves, we uh, have made um, a last one about JSM Power Admin, but it was hosted by Cloud Access, uh, and they are professionals in doing web webinars. So this is uh, kind of our first one, and as you might notice, we are not English native speakers, so uh, we tried hard, and uh, we hope that uh, we could bring you some useful information. Uh, yeah, and this is the. Uh, the one last question for today uh, from Bernd Hoffman. Uh, okay, so uh, when you uh, you add new model, um, okay. Uh, so, uh, if in JSN Mobilize you have added a module position, then you don't have to do any, any, anything else if you uh, add new module in that position. For example, you have configured to display module uh, left on some of the area in JSN Mobilize, then in the future, if you want to add uh, more modules, on the position left, they will be automatically displayed. Uh, JSON Mobilize supports uh, uh, it. It can display both individual models and the whole model position. I can show you again. 
Okay, so here you can see that you can add individual model and model position. So if you add model position, then all models are configured to be displayed in that position will be automatically displayed. Well, okay, so uh, our time is up, and uh, thank you, everyone, for being with us. Uh, Ling, do you want to say goodbye? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Tai, uh, Mr. Tang, uh, for uh, answering all of the questions today. And um, if after the webinar you have any further question or concern related to the JSM Mobilize, you can just log on to our website www.joomlashine.com and um, send us a uh, form. We will answer all of your questions um, as soon as possible. Uh, yes, um, the video um, will be posted uh, as soon as we uh, have uh, done all of the uh, uh, have made the video good and upload to uh, the, uh, our channel so you can uh, see it. We will include the uh, the link to the video in our blog post and also send to your email. Um, so that's all for today. Thank you again for your um, presence today and uh, we hope that we can uh, cooperate with you more in the future. Goodbye. <laughs>